Hello, hello everyone, welcome to another Fallout 76 mission walkthrough. This time we're going to talk about Key to the Past. This is a mission that starts right after you finish Flavors of Mayhem, at the top of the world with this robot named Rose. For starters, this is a very long mission and you won't be able to do it in less than at least two hours, I would say. So be prepared to spend a lot of ammo to break all your armor and to spend, you know, all the food and medicine that you currently have. So let's jump right into it. The first location you have to go is to the black water mine and it's right there in your map. If you don't have any nearby location, you know what to do. You have to walk there. There's no other way. Unless some friend is near and, you know, you can teleport. If you are in a big hurry, you can simply rush inside the mine. Otherwise, you need to kill all the mole rats around. There are some. Not too many, but some. And there's also uh, quite some loot, but most of it is junk, so I wouldn't worry too much about it if I were you. Once you're done looting and, you know, changing your outfit like I did, you can head inside the mine. And the first objective is right here in this room. You need to access this computer and unlike some missions where you have to access every single file on it, you just have to check the first file there. For these and then help and that should trigger the checkpoint for the mission. Time to keep going into the mine. If you go up these stairs, I'm just showing you this because there is a locked chest there in case you want to unlock it if you have the ability to. It's an interesting point right there. It's a skill too. But unfortunately, there's nothing too special inside. Well, if you need a new metal arm piece, then you got one now. So, I have learned that you can kill so easily when you are using a decent melee weapon. I'm even starting to skill or in this case get some perks for melee weapons and I'm loving it really. But it's very useful especially when you are fighting uh, high level enemies or a bit higher than your level. Especially mutants. It works really well. And you will see why in some minutes in the next tasks. So you will have to kill um, a dozen of mole rats until you get to your objective. As you can see they are a bit strong. And they take a while to die, even if you have uh, decent gear. So be careful not to get uh, gang banged. Because sometimes they come in groups. But if you keep your distance, you should be able to fight them off one by one or two by two. Just make sure to take some cover. Because a little bit ahead there will be 
a staircase and there is no cover and the enemies are quite, you know, I, I don't know, but they are at least five and one of them launches grenades at you, so be prepared. Not grenades, I meant missile. The powerful ones. I mean, both are powerful, but... Will you die already? Now comes the big moment. Your mission objective is just ahead. And it's a big surprise. So now... Your mission objective is fighting the rats. And someone is throwing things at you. Yeah, it's a bit chaotic, but... I I advise you to fight the rats first because they are many and the feral guy will keep at least two or three of them busy while you fight the others. It's a win win situation for you. All you have to do is to kill all of them and then you either finish off um the goal if he's not dead yet or you just find his body and you check what he has for you damn it this one was still alive i swear i, I thought he was dead and then <laughs> he's just uh, throwing things at me quite annoying do you see how fire guns do so little damage then I get my melee weapon and bam. You can pick the mission fragment and then find your way out of the mine. It shouldn't be difficult. The mine is quite short and the next mission update is exactly that, to head out of the mine. Funny enough, when you leave the mine, most of the enemies are back. I can only assume it's because you spawn in a different server, because there is no way. They are all back after like 15 minutes. Or maybe they are. I'm not sure what's the spawn time in this game. Anyway, the next step for the mission is to go to these mountains to look for nodes in a camp from trappers. It's this camp here. It's pretty empty, so you don't have to worry about dying. <laughs> there are many drinks and some food. If you are in need, you can look around and pick it up. It's always handy to have um, extra food, extra drinks. The note is just ahead. There is also some ammo. And the note is there. In the wood. A new update will pop up once you close or take the letter. And you need to get the key fragment. Or the next one, because we got one already. The next location is a little bit to the east and it's basically a dead trap. It's filled with mutants and many 
they are many, but many. I I was here, I don't know, probably 20 minutes. I died twice and I eventually got them down to this number, okay? But they are at least three times more when you first get here. There are mutants like everywhere and um, they, they kind of pile up, you know, they make a line to kill you. And if you get stuck or between them, you won't even be able to move because you have four, five, six people, uh, mutants, hitting you. And I basically feel like I'm a ninja at this point, using melee weapons and just moving around them. <laughs> it's, it's quite funny and it's so effective. It's, it's really, really amazing. And that's what I meant at the start when we were at the mine. Melee weapons are lovely. Fantastic. How outstanding. I don't know. I, I really love it. So here is the Trapper Cree fragment, and for some reason it explodes when you pick it up, so take cover. It's going to boom. Boom. Hi, so next location is to the north and we need to find about Maggie's last location. It's so far away and I didn't have a close point, so walk, walk and more we'll walk. This location is infested with coals. There are a lot of them as well, but the good thing is that they are quite weak, so... You won't have um, difficulties, I think. Just uh, be a bit uh, wary when you first enter the buildings, because sometimes there are, you know, surprise attacks like this one. And then you look back and you are being uh, attacked already. The only difficulty in this part is that there are some legendary Scorch. I think there are two if I'm not mistaken. This one and another one. And they can regenerate and they hit uh, harder than the normal ones, of course. They also drop some interesting items, so if you are in need for an upgrade, you might want to check out what they have for you. Again, this is a place with a lot of loot and it's up to you how much you want to explore, how much you can carry with you and so on. I'm trying to make things a little simple. Here is a an armor piece from the legendary guy I killed. Now about the mission, um, you need to find a tape that is in the next building. So in the next one, you also have to clean it, there are quite some scorch. And I don't know why the doors are so bugged, I have to click them twice to open them. And it happened more than once, so it's clearly a bug. It wasn't lag or anything. No. 
the first tape is right in the floor below so just head downstairs and you will see the tape right away it's here in this table but there is no update this time because you still need to find the other tape don't worry it's not too far away It's quite intuitive, you just need to keep exploring. In this case, you go left. You will find a few more enemies. And then the tape will be there, waiting for you. There is also a computer that needs hacking skills to access. I was not able to do it because my hacking skill is just level 1. But there it is, the tape is there. Once you click it, you will trigger the next stage of the mission. And why not pick some wood in the meanwhile, you know? Wood is always a great thing to have to build your house. There you go, new checkpoint. And we can move on to the next look. Which, by the way, is at the same place. It's in the first building, so head back uh, to where we first entered. And you go right. Then you go down. There are a few more sort of rats, I don't know what they are. It's P1 me. But they drop some meat, so it's it's useful. You can roast it and then eat it and recover HP. It's perfect. The terminal is just ahead, it's this one. And you just need to check the admin parts you don't need to check any other files i actually try to access everything to see if something you know happened but no so don't lose your time just click the first option and move along next up is north in a palace and it's gorgeous the view is just so wow it's, it's probably the most beautiful place I have seen in Fallout 76 so far. But that's not the point here. We need to find her mission. So you enter the building this way. And, and please don't uh, light the middle meditation event whatever thingy because I did that at first. And uh, th there were like 20 mutants around. I couldn't do my mission. They didn't let me. Uh, then for some reason the server disconnected me and I had to start over. But that's alright because at least now I only have Scorch and no mutants. So this is the password. Uh, it's here. And the checkpoint updates. You need to duplicate the key fragment. It's still in the same building, but it's in another area. You need to go to the level below you, and it's at the terminal. It can be a bit tricky to get there because this place is huge. It's really big, so it's 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 not difficult to get lost in here. But if you find stairs, you have to go down. These stairs, right there, to my left. There are also more stairs there, but they are up, so no. No bueno.
So in here I was looking for it because I had been at the terminal but I didn't click the right option so I was wondering Damn, what am I missing here, you know? But it's right here at this terminal And you need to click that option and then the last one Die Hard Scree Fragment And then your update will come for you. From Rose, Wally for you. One done, one more to go. So you need to look for more notes. And my closest uh, point was the relay tower. Not too far off, but still walking, walking, walking. Something you must do in this game. There are some goals. Or scorched. I, I call them the same. I know they're not the same, but And your mission point is on the first floor It will take you a little bit to get there because there are so many enemies shooting on you so it's not like you have an option to just um, ignore them. The good part is that they die very quickly and very easily. They're just annoyance. Very annoying. But you can ignore most of the building, you just have to go up. Here are the stairs. And once again you have to clear the path. Might as well take that uh, Charisma Poppy Head or Bobble Head. Wh why did I say Bobbly? Uh, never mind. So the notes are right there in the stone. You can look around for the loot and then you pick it up and yeah, you're done here. A new checkpoint will come and it's like an endless mission, isn't it? Rose is so demanding. I, I really thought about that. So we have to go to the west and it's quite far off. There's like nothing around it. At least for me, I didn't have anything around it. I had to walk a lot, but that's okay. It's all fine. This time we are going into a cave. A very dark cave. Yep. And this one is like a maze. So be prepared to get lost or if your perception and sense of orientation is quite good, then be confident. You will be just fine. Now there is a power armor right at the entrance. I took it and... Mm. I mean, why not? It has a uh, off of a fusion core inside, so that's always handy. At first, you will encounter a few goals, and then things will change a little bit. The paths will become confusing, and you will start meeting these strange bugs that are quite difficult to take down. They are resistant to most damage. But you need to venture into the deeps of this cave to find what we're looking for. It's not pretty. Trust me, it's... 
It's really not pretty. Anyway, this part is going to be a bit long because I found it quite confusing and uh, maybe other people will find the same. So I will leave all the footage here so you can see how I got in, what I did to reach the mission objective and what did I do to get out. Because once you are deep inside the cave with all these pads, it's very, very easy to get lost and to lose time trying to find a way to uh, head back. I mean, you can always teleport if you want. But if you want to keep exploring or, you know, if you forgot to loot something, then, yeah, it can always be useful to someone. Also, be wary of um, the bugs with wings. They are much more powerful than these normal bugs and they somewhat poison you. You get damage over time, so I can only assume it's poison. I didn't check the effects. Mirror look. Why are the names so strange? God damn. God damn Bethesda, why'd you do this? Forward is the way, literally. In here, it's like this. I barely even looked at the map because... Um, no use, I mean, there is... Not much to... To do, but to explore yourself. So, these bugs are dangerous. They are very dangerous. So, look at your HP bar when you are fighting there, because... If you start the fight with um, not so high HP and they poison you and hit you at the same time, it's it's a lot of damage. I, I had to heal myself a few times. But that's all part of the process.
All right, so we are approaching our mission point. He is right there in the middle, as you can see with the yellow mark. He is not that strong, at least in terms of defenses. He goes down very quickly, but when he hits you, it hurts. It hurts really badly. And he can climb walls, it's crazy. But he couldn't stand up against my uh, my swords. He just couldn't. And there you go, the next key fragment is yours and new checkpoint. Again, I will leave the footage for those who wish to walk back by foot or to keep exploring and to fight their way through the cave. So I will not be commenting the next five minutes or something like that. You can just go forward a little bit for the next location. And I hope you find it useful. Alright, the next location is to the south and we need to kill David and get his key fragment. Whoever that is. I don't know, but Rose certainly does. Good for us that David is not a big fighter. He is good at backstabbing people like he just did, but um, he doesn't do much. Just take out your swords and zoop, 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 you know? Like this, and then they're all dead. And then you get close to David and you ask him what's going on. And he doesn't know what's going on and you just zoop, 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 zoop. And soon he'll be dead too. 
He, he can't even hit me. Look at that. He's so confused. He doesn't know what to do. It's okay, David. I just wanted your key fragment and now I got it. And we have a new checkpoint. And I got a new level too. That's so, so convenient. Anyway, Rose has a lot to say. She's always speaking endlessly. And after this, all you have to do is to head back to the top of the world and give all the key fragments to Rose. Pretty simple, huh? I know what you must be thinking. Yes, it's over. This mission is finally over. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you. It's not over yet. You still have one last task to do. Yes, it is real. And that's why this video is continuing. Because there's more to do. It doesn't end here. You can just listen to Rose if you want to. A few moments later. Yes, we are still here. And mission update. So we need to get information on Roslyn here at one of the starting points on the capital. There is a um, teleport point right there, so it's very easy to access. Inside there are quite some enemies, but they are very weak. You can basically one-shot everything. And to make things a bit faster, you need to first kill everything. And then get downstairs. Where you will find the computer, which is your next mission point. You will see the yellow icon on top of it. Not this one. This one is broken. It's the one I had. Right there. You can also scavenge everything you need. And the funny part about this stage is that you don't really need to do it. I mean, you do for the mission, but Rose is just playing with you. So, as soon as you check the computer, a new checkpoint will pop up. And you're wondering, hmm, where's my next assignment? And then Rose speaks. So, your final destination is near the top of the world. It's in a nearby camp. And it's in this exact building here. Again, you will find Scorch. There are plenty of them to fight. And... They are quite strong, I must say. So be a bit wary. And... 
don't think he will just go there and one hit him unless you are like max level or something. First you need to head top and then you will see stairs down and that's where you have to go. You can also find a trader here to sell your junk or things you don't need or buy something that he has that interests you. Now here's something that you might want to pick up but there's nothing here that you actually need for the mission. There's also a computer but all the files are broken. I tried every single one of them and it's basically a copywriting job. It says the same thing by other words so don't bother really. Just move on and head um, downstairs. That's where you want to go. Alright, so here's the trick. Look where your cart is. It's under the mat. To be honest with you, I didn't see it at first. I I went a little bit around because I couldn't find the cart. I was like, it says it's here, but it's not here. What is this? So, yeah, there's a little twist at the end and your key to the pass is completed. Also, you can do a little progress on your pending task uh, missing link. Rose trusts you now and, you know, you have access to the precious uh, information she was holding from you. So, that's it for me today. I'm Marta Branco. It has been a long journey. This is a very long mission and it's a bit uh, annoying to say the least because you have to walk so much, go here, go there, but in the end it's a game and it's a fun experience. Also don't forget the log chest in here, I wasn't able to open it but maybe you can. Alright so if you found this video useful please don't forget to subscribe, that's very important for us and I will see you in the next video, bye!
Thank <laughs> you.